The word scenery was not in use on Mars. One might talk instead of the prospect. The prospect was modestly dramatic. Volcanoes on this section of Tharsis were small and scattered. The settlement site on the Tharsis Shield had been chosen for its underground water supply and its comparative smoothness. A path had been worn leading eastwards a short way. A man and woman were walking side by side along the path, treading with the high neat gait the lower gravity of Mars encouraged. The pair were thickly dressed and wore face masks, since they were beyond the atmospheric confines of the project settlement. This constitutional exercise, though remarkable enough, had come about by events and arrangements of some complexity, inspired in large part by the findings of the NASA experimental vehicle, Curiosity, in 2012 AD, when both of these new Martians were not even conceived. Rui and Amy were taking their daily exercise. They discovered in the austerities of this derelict planet something they had sought without discovering in their previous lives. No air, perfect vision, clarity of sight and mind. Martian orange-gray sterility. Amy, dark of skin and outspoken, always declared that Mars served as a physical manifestation of the support system of the subconscious. The great spread of an oceanless world surrounded them. Such water as there was flowed hidden underground. As usual, the couple had walked until the brow of Olympus Mons showed like consciousness above the horizon. They were walking now between two volcanoes, believed to be extinct. Pavonis Mons and, to the south, Arcea Mons, passing quite close to the rumpled base of the former. In one of these small fissures, they had found a little clump of cyanobacteria, which added to the interest of their walk. They believed it to be a mark of an ancient underground waterway. Their progress was slow. Rui had his left leg encased in plaster, setting a broken bone. Little Phobos, having risen in the west, was at present speeding above the shield. Sight of it was obscured by a wind that carried fine dust. The dust and the distant star soul low on the landscape gave a dull golden aspect to everything. I was wondering about our contentment, Amy said. If we weren't under some odd compulsion to come here, or if we're not here and are experiencing some form of delusion, reality can be rather tenuous up here. <laughs> and not only here, said Rui, chuckling. Back on Earth, one of the screamers had run an opinion poll about the six towers in the Martian settlement. The towers were graded as follows. Chinese, most elaborate. West, most learned. Russ East, most artistic. Singa Tai, most exclusive. Scanned, most Spartan. Sudam, most exotic.